Welcome back to another episode of Balling With. Guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today, we will be discussing the NBA Finals, who's going to win, uh, what's the roadmap going to be like for both teams, and just my overall point of view and what I see. Um, but before we get into the video, guys, please make sure you comment, like, subscribe. I'm getting back on to a uh, consistent basis. Every other day, I'm going to be trying to drop in a YouTube video on sports news. It is about to be the off season, so it's going to be just a lot of things popping up for NBA and the NFL. Um, baseball season will be uh, in full swing, but um, that's not really my cup of tea. So um, without further ado, this is what I plan on doing. So let's get right on into it. Um, Miami Heat, uh, you know, eighth seed team, the first eighth seed team to make it to the NBA Finals, which is crazy. And then this is the Denver Nuggets first time in the NBA Finals. Uh, shout out Carmelo Anthony, of course. Um, I still don't know how they have Jokic wearing number 15 and the Carmelo number 15, man. You got to retire both those numbers at this point. Joker is really going crazy, and he's probably going to continue to do the same thing versus the Miami Heat. Uh, he, like you said, he averages a triple-double as well the past couple seasons. Um, and I feel like Bam Adebayo is not the type of person to uh, even – match up well with the Joker. Um, and you can see the past couple games that Jokic had versus AD, uh, Aiton, and just a couple other players. Uh, they can't compete. He's the best center, center in the league uh, and won back-to-back -back MVPs for a reason. Um, now you got Jimmy Butler on the other team who's their best player on the Miami Heat. I feel like he doesn't have the best supporting cast. Um and that's why I have Tyler Hero up right here now. Um, and they're saying he potentially could come back game three. Um, I don't think he will be able to do enough. Um, and he probably will be a little rusty. And to me, he's not that great of a player. He was um, always a role player in my eyes. I don't see him as the, the second best. He was still the third player on the team behind Bam and Jimmy Butler. But um, like I said, they said game three, he can make a decision of coming back or potentially game one. I feel like Miami will have a better chance if he does come back game one. Um, but like they said, he averages 20 points coming off. I feel like that might mess up the rhythm with the other players as far as Gabe Vincent and maybe Robinson. But I feel like Caleb Martin is going to fit back in the lineup pretty well uh, if Tyler Hero comes, um, comes back. Um, as far as the Denver Nuggets, I feel like their supporting cast uh, is a little bit better than the other – players on the Miami Heat outside of Bam and Butler. You have uh, Vincent, Duncan, um, who else? Caleb Martin, uh, Kyle Lowry, a few other players as well. But on Denver Nuggets, you got Michael Porter. Um, you have Kyle Pope, who's been there before. You have Bruce Brown, who's been pretty playing, playing pretty well. Um, Aaron Gordon as well, who's not no slum. Both All these players are a little bit bigger and uh, – more defensive in my eyes. Um, they say Joke is not a rim protector, but I feel like Bam Adebayo probably won't. He probably had like one 20-point game the whole series. Um, didn't really do that much uh, late of the Celtics series, so I don't know how they really pulled it off, but you can't be doing that versus uh, the Denver Nuggets. You're going to have to score some points. You're going to have to be competing with Jokic uh, with his 30-point games, his 30-point triple-doubles. You're going to watch out for that. Um, and then you got the coaches matchups. Um, Eric Spocher, Mike Malone, uh, both are pretty good coaches. Eric Spocher definitely takes the cake. Um, I do like Malone's tactics, uh, even when they were playing the Suns, man. Uh, every time he felt like something was or uh, momentum was shifting, he'll call a timeout. Like, not even like 10 points after they already caught momentum. Like, they scored two quick buckets, he called that timeout quick, and that's going to disrupt the the fast pace that Miami will probably want to play with, but I just don't think it will be enough to match up with the Denver Nuggets, the two time MVP back to back, uh, Jamal Murray uh, coming off the the two off seasons from injury. I think he's been playing pretty well, um, and that's the X factor right there, along with the other players on the Denver Nuggets. Um, but all in all, I do think Denver Nuggets should win four to one, four to two series. Uh, should be a cakewalk. Um, and Joker will be, you know, go down in history of best centers in the league, best passers, uh, definitely uh, for getting the Denver Nuggets to their first ring as well. So um, let's keep an eye out for them and uh, keep an eye out for more videos, guys. Like, comment, and share, and I'll get back with you next time. Boom.